Hello! In this video, we're going to look at using R to do a man Whitney U test. We're going to be using the example data from Chapter 7 on bone, back dense, bone mass density in males and females. And we're going to be using the code from the help sheet uh, downloadable from the Online Resource Centre. You can see the first section of this help sheet shows you how to set up a data file using Excel. You can either use this method to make your own data file or you can download a data file pre-made from the Online Resource Centre. This is the data file downloaded from the Online Resource Centre. You can see that the bone mass density is in one column and which is dependent variables in one column and the independent variable sex is in the next column. And this is the layout that we had for using SPSS with uh, a man Whitney U test. I call this variable layout with bone mass density, the independent variable next to the independent variable, in this case sex. If you have your data set up with the data from males in one column next to the data from males in the female in the next column, then the thing to do would be to use the code in the additional notes for on the help sheet. But we're just going, I'm going to show you here how to do a uh, man with you with this layout here, which I call the variable layout. Um, so we'll just crack on with that to do that. So let's move the data out of the way because we actually don't need that. We're going to um, open R. And if you want to get R looking like I have it here, then you need to watch the introductory video. I've got my car console on the right and my R editor on the left. And now I need to paste in the codes from the help sheet. So here we go. Highlight it. And copy. Paste it into the R editor window. Make sure there are no returns uh, in the lines that shouldn't be there. So they should, that should all be on a single line there. And uh, just make sure there's uh, a space between the two bits of code. Not for functionality, just for clarity. OK, so this first bit of code is about importing the data. We're going to change the stars to words that are appropriate for our example. So this is bones. So we're going to put our data, import our data into an object called bones. Then we're going to attach the variable labels and then we're going to print out those variable labels. Let's run that bit of code first. So highlight it and go control R. Now it's asking me to find the data. Navigate to the data, which is here on my desktop. And it's going we're going to use this variable layout version of the data with labels. That means the um, independent variable in text, not number codes. And here we go. So it tells us exactly what the two columns are called. Now we can run the second bit of code. Oh, first of all, we need to change it. So we need to put in the, what the text that's appropriate. So this side where those dots are, this side of the squiggly line here, we've gone to have BMD, which is the dependent variable. And the other side of the squiggly line is going to be sex, our independent variable. And now we're going to can run that code. Highlight it, Control R. So we have the result of our Wilcoxon test, uh, our estimate of effect size, confidence intervals of that effect size, statistic, p-value, and um, that's all we need. If you want to find or check your sample sizes M1 and N2, then you can use this bit of code in the additional notes, and um, that will tell you. Other than that, that's all you need. Oh, I just see up here in the console, it's got an unexpected error here. That's if we see. That's because I didn't remove the um, return before the eg. So if that was all on one line, that wouldn't we wouldn't have got that error message. So if I do that again, control R. Uh, you can see it does it without the error message. So it was just because I'd forgotten to remove the return that I put in when I copied and pasted. And that's it. It's as easy as that to do a man Whitney U test using R.